in this video I'm going to show you how to choose the right SKU grant plan for you. A common question that we get amongst potential SKU grid customers and current SKU grid community users is that they don't know which pricing plan that they should pick. So this video will help clear that up for you. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the pricing tab in SKU grid. That will take you right here. You'll see it says cost. There are four different pricing plans. First one is $14.99 per month for 50,000 credits. The second is $29.99 per month for 250,000 credits. The next is $119.99 for 1,250,000 credits. And the final plan is $209.99 for 2,500,000 credits. Keeping in mind that you have to excuse my firewall. <laughs> um, keeping in mind that your credits roll over month to month if they are unused, so it's not like you lose anything. And so, what does this mean for you? What you can do is click on information about credits. That will take you right here. And this little chart here, this little table, it shows you exactly what you get charged one credit for. Um, what you might not know is that SKU Grid is actually checking your supplier URLs for price changes and stock changes every 20 minutes, but it's not actually making any uh, repricing changes or changes to your inventory until it reaches the interval that you specify, whether or not you want it to reprice every 3 hours, 6 hours, 12 hours, 24 hours. It's totally up to you. Of course, the more you have it repricing, if you have a shorter duration or time span in between the last check, then of course the pricing plan that you would need would be more expensive. It would cost you more credits to check and reprice more frequently. But those every 20 minute checks, SKUGRID does not charge you for those. They only charge you for actual repricing and changes to your actual listings. So. Looking at this chart, uh, at the interval that you specify, whether it's 3, 6, 12, or every other day, 12 hours or every other day, every day, um, SKU Grid charges one credit for checking the price and stock of your eBay or Amazon item. Um, the, it also charges, if you choose to fill in compare to items, uh, this would be the link to your product on eBay or the link to your item on Amazon if you're drop shipping on Amazon and that would be an additional credit at the same time some people choose to keep that there and some people don't a lot of people do um, that compare to items will be explained in a later video um, but let's just go ahead and use that in there because uh, a lot of people choose to keep it um, instant price check is when you add an item to SKU grid a brand new item it does an instant price check at the time, you know, once you submit it, uh, just to make sure that the item doesn't need to be repriced, etc. Um, if there is a change and it's within the threshold that you specify, and SKU Grid goes and makes a change to your eBay item, then it will cost one credit. If it reprices a single item on Amazon, that will cost one credit. So, you know, that's how the credits are used. I just wanted to explain that really briefly. If you scroll down a bit, the next section says estimate your usage, and this is a handy little calculator tool that will help you determine what pricing plan you need based on the amount of listings that you have, whether or not you have compared to items filled in, and whether or and if SKU Grid will be doing the actual repricing for you. Some people choose to just receive email notifications and they want to handle all of the repricing. Um, some other people want everything completely automated and they prefer to have SKU Grid do the repricing for you. Whatever it is that you need for your business, SKU Grid gives you that flexibility. So by default, there are some values entered here. So you would see that if you had 1,000 listings that were being repriced every three hours and you did not have compared to items filled in and SKU Grid is doing the repricing, you would it would estimate that you would use 312,000 credits per month which would be about hundred and nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents for the month that would be the best plan for you 
which will get you 1.25 million credits. Um, now, I changed some of these values just to play around with these numbers. Some people start with higher amounts of listings, some people start with lower amounts. But let's just say you had 500 listings or you wanted to work your way up to having 500 listings and you had SKU grid repricing once a day, uh, which can be sufficient because most people don't even check their inventory every single day. Um, and you had compare two items filled in and SKU grid was doing your repricing, then your estimated usage would be 34,500 credits in a month, which would still have you under the $14.99 per month plan. Uh, that's 50,000 credits and any unused credits like I said earlier they will roll over to the next month. Now taking the same values but changing how often SKU grid checks and reprices that item or your items let's just change the the duration here to from three hours to six if I did that I it would estimate that I used 138,000 credits so then at that point if I wanted to have SKU grid checking more frequently for the same amount of items uh, then I would need to make sure that I chose the $29.99 per month plan, which would have me at 250,000 credits. And now let's go with some bigger numbers. Uh, let's just say you have a thousand items that were being repriced every six hours, but you did not have compare to items filled in, and SKU Grid was doing your repricing, then it would be estimated that you would use 156,000 credits and you would still be on the $29.99 per month plan. And that concludes my presentation. I hope that you found value in this handy calculator tool and we will see you in the next video.